Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Joseph Cavagnaro. This day last year, I made an unboxing video on my Nintendo Switch, and in a year, there's a lot of amazing accessories for this console. I have compiled a list of 10 of the best accessories for your Nintendo Switch. I will be linking these products in the description below. No, I am not sponsored by these companies. At number 10, we have a second pair of Joy-Cons. Now, let me explain. When you first open up your Nintendo Switch, you get two Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con grip in the box. But let's say you have four friends and all of you want to play Mario Kart. This is where two pairs of Joy-Cons would come in handy. Though the price of the Joy-Cons are expensive, if you really think about it, you really are getting what you're paying for. At number 9, we have a car charger. Now we all know the Nintendo Switch's battery life is not perfect, but this device is handy for a long car trip. With this device, you can plug it into, say, a USB-C cable, plug it into here, and you plug, you plug the Nintendo Switch into this end, and and charge your Nintendo Switch. Now depending on the car, you might have to turn the engine on. Which brings me into a convenient segue into item number eight. No, it's not an engine. And there, to see my, um, to see that it's charging, yeah, you could see that it's charging. At number eight, we have a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Now some may see this controller as overpriced and unnecessary, but when you think about it, you aren't wrong. But when you really think about it, you do get what you pay for. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller has bigger buttons than a regular Joy-Con. And it also has a D-pad and a, an Amiibo NFC reader. And it has HD rumble. Didn't, and did I mention it feels so good to hold? It also comes with this USB-C charging cord, so you could charge either the Pro Controller or the Nintendo Switch. And which, or you could plug this into a portable charger. Which brings us into a convenient segue into item number seven. At number seven, we have a portable charger. Now this one right here has a plug to plug it into an electrical outlet. It also has a micro USB and lightning adapter. And it also has a USB port to charge your Switch with, this, with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller cable. You could also charge your Pro Controller, of course. Now the thing is with this one right here, I could not find it on Amazon, I and nor could I find it on the internet, but I will link a similar product to this in the description. Now, on to number six. At number six, we have a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Now, this may seem like an odd choice at first, but I see some potential with this. Um... Well, first off, the Nintendo Switch has a USB-C connector. So you plug this into the bottom of the Nintendo Switch, and then you can plug it into, say, like a, a USB keyboard. Since the Switch does support USB keyboards, you can totally put in a USB keyboard, or you can connect to the internet to access the free internet until Nintendo starts charging you for their paid online service, which brings us into item number five. At number five, we have a Switch Ethernet adapter. If you want internet faster than Wi-Fi, then you might want to consider a Switch Ethernet adapter. Third party or licensed by Nintendo, it doesn't really matter. As long as it works for the Nintendo Switch, you can play wired online either in TV mode or in tabletop mode with the USB-C to USB-A adapter I mentioned earlier. And believe it or not, it actually works. I can prove it. First off, you take an Ethernet wired connected an Ethernet wire connected to a modem, then take your Switch Ethernet adapter, then Plug it, plug the Ethernet adapter into this USB-C to USB-A adapter, and then plug this 
the whole thing into your Nintendo Switch, and bam, wired internet connection. And it is going to take a while to, for it to... Oh, there it is. See right there? That, that thing right there? That shows I have wired internet for my Switch in tabletop mode. Now, how cool is that? At number four, we have a carrying case for the Nintendo Switch, specifically the Sheikah Slate carrying case. Now, this case comes in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition, but the people on eBay are charging $70 to $100. I'll link a more reasonably, reasonably priced case in the description if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Now, going into some more details on this specific case, it has, it has a place to store your Switch and two Joy-Cons. Um, you, you, um, you, you store it in the case like this, and there's a protective flap right here to um, protect it from damage. And then, here's a um, flap right here to hold um, 12 physical game cartridges. I only have 9 physical game cartridges. And there's also a space in the back to hold Joy-Cons. Um, you can also hold earbuds in here and you could also hold a um, charging cable if you wanted to and I'm gonna show it in just a minute to to tell you to show you um, that you can fit all this stuff in here and see just like that you can fit all this stuff in here doesn't it and you can take it on the go now on to number three. At number three, we have a micro SD card. Now, when talking about storage on the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch's storage isn't perfect. It's only 32 gigabytes, but the good news is that you can expand it by 16, 32, 64, 128, or even 256 gigabytes. That way, if you feel like playing a um, data-heavy game like L.A. Noir, you totally can! At number two, we have the Splatoon 2 Splat and Chat headset. How fitting. This headset is so useful. If you're the kind of person who likes to chat with your friends on any voice chat server and play video games, this is the headset for you. Now, basically, what you do is you plug it into this Splat and Chat mixer and you plug these two, um... You plug these two audio cables into your phone and the Nintendo Switch, and it will work on any con any f any console and any phone with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And yes, it does work with with the phones that don't have headphone jacks, but you're gonna need a dongle. Now, some honorable mentions go to a USB keyboard, since the Nintendo Switch supports USB keyboards. Um, also, some cases to store your game cards. If the, if the carrying case you have doesn't have um, protective pockets for your game cards. Um, oh yeah, enough. And then there's um, some micro SD card um, game game holders to um, hold your micro SD cards in here. And then another honorable mention that didn't quite make the list, but I think should have, is the Nintendo Switch Dock. Now, I only own the official Switch Docks, not those um, knockoff docks. And now on to the number one best Switch accessory. At number one, the best Switch accessory you could own is a Nintendo Switch screen protector. Now, this may not seem like a whole lot, but you need a screen protector. I cannot stress that enough. It will help protect your screen from scratches. When I first got my Nintendo Switch at launch and heard the news that the docks were apparently scratching the screen, I went back to GameStop to buy a screen protector for my Switch. A few days later, also, when I heard the news my cousin got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas, 
The very next day, I got him a screen protector so he wouldn't scratch his switch. This actually happened. It's a true story. So yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you all in my next video.